if you have a dog, you've seen the look, right? That kind of <laughs> tilted head. That all knowing that look. Thing? Exactly. <laughs> you ever wonder what's That's going good. through your dog's mind? Now's the chance to find out. Yale University has opened up a canine cognition center to study just how dogs think. And not surprisingly, guys, I had to check it out with the help of my special four legged friend to Aww. check it out. Child four. No. No. Learn how man's best friend thinks? Sign me and my best friend up. When I heard that Yale had opened up a center to study how dogs think, I immediately enrolled my dog, Nell. Nell, get the treat. These are critters who live in our houses. They grew up with us. We're constantly wondering what they're thinking about and how they make sense of things. This is a real scientific way that we can answer those questions. Yale undergrad and graduate students working at the dog lab are hoping to learn more about canine psychology through various problem solving games they give to the pooches. One study we're really interested in is whether dogs can socially learn like human kids. In one study, they watch as dogs try to solve a puzzle, either on their own or with the help of an experimenter. The goal is to see how they process information and learn from others. What we're interested in is when they see what a human does, does that limit how they explore? First, do they kind of follow what people do? And also, do they limit the kinds of exploration they do when they see others doing certain, certain kinds of processes on these boxes? The first time Nell walked through the game, she didn't get any cues from the experimenter and used her mouth more to try to open some of the boxes. After she saw the experimenter use her hands, Nell picked up on her cues and used her paws. I think it'll tell us a little bit more about how dogs learn best, which can help us for training service dogs, thinking about how we train our own dogs. I think just kind of thinking about this big question of what makes us special. So far, they've tested 60 dogs with hundreds more waiting to come in and go through the studies. And even though your dog may be going to college, she still needs you to accompany her. So sit back and relax and watch as your dog navigates her Ivy League environment. Perhaps the best part for the parents is once your dog gets accepted into the program, she gets an official letter of admission from the Canine Cognition Center. And then as she progresses through each stage, she gets her own diploma. Congratulations, Nell, you made it through the freshman class. <laughs> <laughs> and what's better than that? What is better than that? And that's, of course, going to be framed and hung up oh, in our yeah. house shortly. Uh, Don't worry about be. it, guys. It should be. Both Each went to class. Ivy League schools. Huh? Yes, and her dad <laughs> went to Yale, so he's very proud. So maybe we'll <laughs> hang in next to his wow. degree. No pressure on the, on the oh, coming on the child. Baby. Baby. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> he has a uh, big pause to follow, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about and that. And once they're done conducting the research, they're hoping to publish it in a scientific journal. Wow. So we'll keep you posted on that. If you want to learn more about the center, perhaps get your dog involved, which I highly recommend. Head to our website website wtnh.com we have all the information up there for you is there doggy grad school too i don't oh, think mine would maybe get they will <laughs> but you know what they are considering having a graduation for all the dogs That'd in this fun. first class yeah, which would be great pictures of that That'd be great. Oh, you're all invited we'll have a little graduation party